Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Marsha, and I'm back with another video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna to be testing out beauty hacks to see if they're actually worth the hype, you know, because we see them all over the place and I'm like, do they actually work, you know? Is this really something I wanna be trying every day? So, we're gonna do it and see if they're good or not or what's up with them. So, before I continue, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel right down there if you haven't already. And just let me know in the comments if you did that so I can thank you guys and I will appreciate it very, very much. Okay, let's get started. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, you see this here? There, there. So if you put your hair in a ponytail and you have these spots there, apparently famous people do stuff to fix that. So, here's what I'm gonna do. There, I have this brow kit, because you can actually buy like hair powder to put in there, but I don't. So I tried to find like the closest shade I have and that would be this to my real color hair. So all you do is you take a brush, you take the powder and you fill it in right there. Okay, maybe I would have needed a little bigger brush. And you wanna blend it in too, so it doesn't look you know, like ratchet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that. Is that the right color? I feel like that isn't the right color. Maybe I need to get a darker one. I don't think that looks any better. Or maybe it does. Look at that. OMG. Yeah, I think I need to find a different powder because that just looks kind of weird. Let's try this one once. That looks good. I think it does. Looks a little ready. Maybe I would find like a little darker, um, whatever, but now you can't see it as much. See what I mean? Like, see that? Looks like a bald spot, but it's just my hairline. But if you have your hair down there, it looks like a bald spot. There. Ah, you don't see it anymore. So let's try this again. I'm actually mixing these two shades together now. Oh. My word, you guys. And my hair is just flying everywhere because I'm just going wow, wow, wow. Okay, does that look better? I feel like it does. I feel like it does. Oh my gosh. You don't see the bald spot as much anymore. Okay, so the deal is, would I do that again? Probably not because that doesn't really bother me as much as it might some other people, so um, I probably wouldn't do that again just because maybe if I would have like the real hair stuff you put in there, but I don't, so I just don't feel like digging through all my eyeshadow palettes and trying to find the perfect shade for my hair. You might be wondering, why didn't you do your eyebrows, Marcia? I mean, you could have at least done your eyebrows, but I wanted to test a hack. So the first thing you need is a bar of soap. And then you need like your little eyebrow spoolie and you just wet the bar of soap. So let me wet it, okay? Just wet the bar of soap a little bit and then you take your spoolie and just do like this. Get some soap on it. You can let it soak on the bar of soap for a little bit. That way it's like sticking in there, okay? And then you just comb out your eyebrows and it makes them look a little more natural and fuller I guess. Let me fix this here. There! So you see the difference here? 
Look at this one and then look at this one. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh my gosh, I very much like this. I don't know why I have that little space there. I've had it like forever already. No idea why it's there, but it's always been there. So anyways, I just did it again. Just like turn it on there. Take this. Just comb out your eyebrow. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this hack, actually. Look at that. Look at that. I might have to do that a little bit more. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. This is awesome. So, and I bet if I would put like some product in there, it would look even better, but I don't have any. Look at those brows. Done, girl, your boss brow. Your boss be on fleek. Your brows are beautiful. I really like this. Guys, I think I might be using this. I will continue to do that because I really like this hack. My eyebrows feel good and they look good. So anyways, let's move on to the next one. First thing I'm gonna do before I apply mascara is something with this. So I saw this hack where you take this, you take some eyeliner, you just put the eyeliner on here, on like this top of this thing here, run it along there, and then you put it on your eye, close it, and supposedly you have eyeliner on? No, no I don't. It actually just spread up all over my eye. Yeah, I don't have eyeliner on. It actually looks terrible. So when I saw this, it showed if you did that, you got a nice clean eyeliner. So it doesn't work. Let me try it one more time. Do that. Okay, let me try this. Put it on. Close it. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, mm -hmm. that does not work. Just so y'all know, it does not work. It actually just gets eyeliner all over your eyelid. And that's not the kind of style I'm going for. So yeah, I actually got it. You can see it's like all over. So that hack is a down for me, does not work. So don't try it. Okay. So the next thing you do, I saw this, is you take your mascara, any mascara, your favorite mascara, any mascara, you just take it, you put it on one coat, I know I make a weird face when I'm doing mascara, but you have to, okay. Okay, you see that? That's one coat. And I forgot to curl this one, so let me curl it so it looks the same. Okay, so that's with one coat of mascara. Oh my gosh, now I got the eyeliner on there. Actually, I'm gonna leave it because I have another trick for that. So that's the first thing you do. So, and then what they told me to do is just take your little spoolie here, put it in any powder you have. I just have like some contouring powder. Put it in there, okay? And then like brush it on your eyelash just like this. Okay, more powder. Do it on this side. Okay, and then just take your mascara. Let me get all up close and personal. Put another coat on. Nobody likes the mascara face. Let me just try it out. Oh my gosh, I look pathetic. Okay, 
put another color on. I should have done one eyelash with it and one eyelash without it. Just so you guys can see the difference. Okay, so now your eyebrows are supposed to... Was I saying eyebrows this whole time or was I saying eyelashes? I hope I wasn't saying eyebrows this whole time because I meant eyelashes. Anyways, now supposedly my eyelashes look way fuller since I put that powder on. I honestly can't really tell a difference. The only thing I can tell is like clunking together down here and that just bugs me. Okay. Okay, so supposedly that works. I don't see a big difference so I would not bother putting powder on there. I can just put on five coats of mascara and my eyelashes will look fuller, okay? So, that hack is, I would say, not that good. The next hack is, you see all this mascara I got there, a little bit down here. So, you just take some setting spray, spray it on a Q-tip, and then you take this, and you just dab, 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 dab it off, okay? It's all off, isn't it? Oh wait, no it isn't. It's all gone, and I got it right here, you guys. See that? Nope, nope. Nope. Okay, anyways, it's on here and you did not have to take a wipe, wipe it all off, you know, because usually you put your eyeshadow on and then you um, smear all over your eyeshadow or you smear down here. And it's just hectic because you take a wipe and wipe it off. Then you have to redo your whole face and it's just a big fiasco. And yes, it is hard being a girl. So just take a Q-tip, put some setting spray on it and just wipe it off with that. That works, I really like that hack. And then the next hack I saw is if you want to take this mascara off your eyes, Vaseline is your best friend, okay? That's what they say and so I'm gonna try it. So I saw them have the eye, um, eyebrow spoolie you just take it, I guess you put some Vaseline on here. Put some Vaseline on here. I don't wanna put it in there. So I don't want all my Vaseline to be like full of mascara. And then you just take your mascara off with the Vaseline. And supposedly it's good for your eye lashes, not eyebrows. <laughs> supposedly it's good for your eyelashes and it takes the mascara off. But I don't see it taking anything off, y'all. No. Mm -mm. Maybe it's taking it a little off. It's making them look bigger, actually. You see that? It makes them look bigger than that powder does. It's not coming out. Nope, it's not coming off, okay? So that doesn't work. But I know what works with Vaseline if you don't have chapstick. Ugh. I love Vaseline on my lips. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so the next hack I saw was you take some blush, okay? Some blush. And if you wanna look like you've just come in from the sun, you just get your blush, I don't know how dark this is. You put it on your cheeks, okay, wherever you put your blush. And then you put it, you run it over your nose too, okay? Run it over the nose and onto the other cheek. Because when you are actually in the sun, you know, when you come in from the sun on a hot day, you get no, uh, red on your nose. So it looks more natural. It looks like, you know, it's not just makeup. It is actually the sun and you actually weren't in the sun 
and yeah um as you you guys can see the difference like in from before and after my eyebrows feel good oh my gosh okay i got off track anyway you guys can tell the difference from before i had this on and now since i do it looks better right it does so the next thing i saw was okay i'm gonna take this brow kit again since it's not the shade of my brows anyways and i got it in a um Foxy charm box, I think. Yeah. So what I saw them do was they took this spoolie, they made some powder loose like this. Okay. Then they took an eyeshadow brush and they just sprinkled it on their face. Let me try to do this. It doesn't come on. Is it on my face? No. Okay, what if I would just take a fluffier brush? How did we do this? Okay, this clearly isn't working. Like I'm trying to like look at all that on the brush, okay? Oh, there we go. And then you just do this. And now, looks like you have freckles. Oh my gosh, look at that. It actually just looks like I was, um, well, then it showed them like tapping it in. So let's do that. And then I should have freckles. It actually does look a little bit like freckles. Doesn't it? Oh my gosh, it does. <gasps> I need some on the other side. I can't go up with freckles on just one side of my face. Okay, this is really hard and I must look like an idiot doing this, so. I don't know how they, like I have so much on here. Okay, let's do this again. Did it go on there? Maybe a little bit. Okay, maybe a little bit. And then I just tap it in. And then I have freckles. Look at that. Freckles, freckles, freckles. Okay. So, um, I would say it doesn't look like natural freckles anyways. Um, it does look like you have freckles though. Maybe in like photos and stuff, they wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So, I would say it worked. But would I do this? No. So, that's it. The next beauty hack I have is just um, a very simple it's nothing that I'm going to try. It's just telling you if you have makeup remover wipes. Okay. The best way to store your makeup remover wipes is with the, um, like, upside down. That way, when you go to pull out a wipe, let me do this. I always do this. When you go to pull out your wipe, if I can get one here, whoo, when you go to pull out the wipe, it is... I got two, okay. It is completely, this one is going to be the wettest because it's like on the bottom and all the juice is like just coming down here. So this one is going to be the wettest instead of stirring it like this and then you get the driest one out. So yeah, this good hack. I like this hack. I've tried it so many times. I, I store my makeup wipes upside down all the time now so you guys this one does work and i love this hack so you guys i think i need to sneeze ah. <coughs> <sighs> excuse me or bless me whatever you say <laughs> Anyways, that is it for today, you guys. Let me know if you liked any of these hacks or if you use any of them down in the comments below. Also, guys, if you like these kinds of videos, please let me know in the comments what kinds of videos you want me to do. And I am done for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!